Good morning. Well, it's actually the afternoon, both in the western co coast and the eastern coast. Coast. I don't know how to say words today. Uh, same shirt as yesterday. Don't judge me. I'm on vacation. I've also got a blanket on my lap. So, um, trace today. How did I do? Well, right off the bat, I can tell you, uh, did better than yesterday. Although overall, it was not a good day. Um, and that was actually true for, once again, for a lot of people um, in the community I'm a part of. 49% of the people in there did also have a red day. So, um, yeah, we'll kind of go over the trades that I did today. Um, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. Um, my, my, my goals are basically 10, 12 minutes at a time or something to that effect. Um, okay, so... Uh, these are all the trades that I did today. So some of the rules that I actually set for myself is for now, um, I will just trade to my heart's content. Commissions don't matter right now since I'm not trading with real money. I'm just in a simulator and I'm here to practice uh, new um, or just strategies in general. Um, so once I get kind of the hang of the strategies, then I can start looking at lowering the amount of trades that I do on each particular, um, instrument as well as, uh, as how many different tickers that I, d or symbols that I decide to, uh, trade on and that'll be okay. Um, I'm clicking away for absolutely no reason. Uh, GLTO and orf orphan <laughs> or orphanize or faz, I don't know how to say that. What are they? They are an American depository share. I don't know what that really is. Doesn't matter. I'm a day trader if I do decide to go that route. But these two are very interesting. They just kind of exploded just before noon. Uh, GLTO, um, right around one, almost, yeah, like 150 around there. They just exploded to a point where it was so unusual that we did have some pause. Uh, several pauses actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five um, on ORF and then on GLTO there is a pause here and I think it was just the one pause. There actually has been more pauses than that though I have noticed. Uh, just not noticing it there. So super interesting. Um, that would have been one that would have been good to be uh, long on around this time but there is no way to... to uh, Still don't even know why that even happened in the first place. So I thought that that was kind of interesting and something to take note of. Um, oh, hey, my script is over here. Oh, no, that's right. Um, so some of the things that I've that I learned today is uh, before I was going here on a uh, on a one minute chart here and just kind of notice like that's I'm actually still market still open right now. So I might actually take a trade or two here, not on this one, but uh just during recording here, but um, uh, yeah, I just noticed that like the one minute was is to me it just doesn't really tell me what it's almost like it's happening too fast to really get a good judge of what's actually going on with that particular stock. So I've switched it to two minute, and then this one I kind of switch between the five and fifteen every once in a while. Um, Clove, uh, anyways, I don't know. It's, keep going on here. I have um, a bad habit of uh, not being patient. Um, and what will happen is rather than, uh, let's see if I can see it, find an example of it actually, because it's sort of what I was sort of doing as I sort of say sort of a lot, because that's how I like to do things. Um, See if a clove was one of them. So, yeah, right off the bat here, uh, it kind of worked in my... F no, it didn't. It did not work in my favor. So clove is actually what killed me today. Uh, so I did buy, and then I bought again, because I thought it was going right here. I was chasing. Um, you know, it, it, it dropped down here. I don't know if you would consider that a hammer. It seems like a, the head of it is just a little bit too uh, too big. Um, but right here, it started to come back up, and so I was chasing right at the worst spot possible there. I've got a drawing tool here. Why, why am I not using it? Um, yeah, so right there is where I was chasing, and of course, it went down. So I sold here, and then I bought again. I don't know why. I don't know why I bought again there. Why did I buy there again? I don't know. 
Uh, so silly trades that I did in the morning here. Uh, there's a hammer here. So I thought, okay, let's get on, in on this here. And it did come up, and I sold right away. I got a little scared. Um, clear the screen here. Just learning that drawing tool. Um, so I bought here, sold here. So that, that was a pretty decent little uh, recovery there. Overall, though, it did not do me too well. Uh, in fact, if I go into my account here, I think that one is what did me the worst. It's not, actually. Um, or is it? Yep, yeah, sure is. Overall today, I'm down $1,900 plus a... Uh, realize that this actually shows me commission. $600 commission if I was actually playing live, but I'm not I'm not doing this live, so we're good there. Um, and again, yesterday I was down 6000 by the end of the day. So I would say that that is an improvement. Um... Uh, see if I can quickly find another trade or two that uh, that I thought was interesting. Um, how else did I do here? Sold. I, d I did realize that this is this is a thing that'll happen. Because um, yesterday, if you saw my video yesterday, this is how green I am to this. I didn't understand how it was able to buy or sell right on a wick. It silly to me now if you look at the wicks as they're being born they go up and down as that comes up it makes for a new high for that for this two minute time period and comes back down and that's what the top of the wick is is talking about is the the high for that period so of course if you sold or bought and then it uh, ended up going on to the next time period um just like it did there uh before you know not at the high then uh then naturally it will have that kind of look to it where you're buying and selling on the wick it's it's it should have been common sense to me but oh well that's why I'm green that's why I'm learning and that's why I'm in a simulator uh, yeah right here I bought and sold right away because I was like whoops wouldn't be surprised if that was a stop I probably got stopped out there so these ones are all the trades that I did today um, wish how did I do with wish uh, Wish gave me a bit of profit. Actually, a big one was MVIS. MVIS gave me some decent profit today. Let's overview that one. So, apparently I shorted MVIS. And then, uh, I don't remember shorting today. Uh, one rule that I'm making for myself, too, is I'm going to be very uh, long biased uh, once I do go live, and even starting now, too. I'm just going to pretty much stick to long positions. 10 minutes. <laughs> it's already been 8. I'm just going to stick with uh, long positions because uh, um, they're less risky. Um, but it looks like I did cover here and then I did and then obviously that was a, a profit so it worked in my favor there but that is just one thing that I'm not going uh, to uh, do too often. Right here I did get a purchase in and then I sold for another profit. How's it doing right now? Let's do a trade. A couple of hammers there. It's tempting. We look back, you know, that is kind of on a downward trend here. It's starting to come back up. Uh, I think I'm done for the day. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to focus more on this. Um, TQQ. How did I do there? Eh probably not worth even talking about uh, yeah I just bought and sold right here for a decent profit but there was a mistake there that I made um, you know looking at it a little closer that kept going up so you got your uh, VWAP right here I should have realized that it could have very easily and it did very easily go into the view app over the course of this is probably a matter of patience as well I saw that there was this uh, candlestick here born going down um, and then I freaked out and panicked actually no I sold before that so I don't know what I'm talking about now but um, either way I must have chickened out there and uh, just took in the profits which isn't wrong it's not wrong to take the profits um, as long as you're in the green it's not bad right right Anyways, um, yeah, so it kind of did come up here, and, and then it consolidated quite a bit. Had a nice little jump there as well. Did it continue to jump? 
um, I don't know where I was. Yeah, anyways, uh, CLNE, was that one worth mentioning and talking about? How did I do there? Made a hundred bucks on that one. Meds, I lost quite a bit on. Let's see what I did wrong in meds. Um, <laughs> I, would, I didn't get into meds. Speaking of meds, I gotta take mine. Um, until right around here. Where'd you go? And I actually bought twice in here. Now this probably was in the one minute chart because you know, pretty sure I can zoom in like this maybe. I don't know how to use this right now, but whatever. It's fine. I don't know what I just did to it. If anybody is watching this video and is an experienced day trader and wants to enlighten me on the random things that I'm doing wrong, which I know what I'm doing wrong, and maybe, you know, some constructive criticism on things that I'm doing right. Uh, that'd be cool. Um, I, I'd like to learn off of everyone. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a buy, buy, sell, buy and a sell for a loss there. Uh, so that wasn't good. Buy and a sell for another loss. And a buy and a sell for another loss. So yeah, this one just took me down, uh, mainly from just silly trades and not really thinking about what I was doing. I think probably what I thought is I, I saw two hammers here and thought it was going to go whoop, uh, but it did not. Actually, it did. It absolutely did. So here's my problem again, patience. I should have, and then that was an indecision mark uh, doji there as well. So, wow. There was this... Um, there was that one here too, but uh, what's that called? Shooting Star. I don't know. That would have been a good one. I don't know if that was predictable. It should have been. Oh well. Um, what else did I do? AMC. So another rule that I'm going to make for myself while I'm in sim is uh, basically... With uh, with Das uh, Tr Trader Pro with the free trial, uh, you can only look at Nasdaq's live data. Um, anything else will not be as live. Like it'll still show you uh, the level two information here, but um, you know, as you can see, this doesn't update with everything else. This, uh, I mean, it literally says no permission. <laughs> so, uh, and that's on New York Stock Exchange there. Um, there was a few other ones here I, I wanted to mention. Uh, FCEL, did I make, what did I, how did I do on FCEL? I made $112 there. Um, let's look at that. So with that said though, uh, going back, um, anything like AMC, where I don't have permissions for now, it is being deleted. It is not in play for in, for me. Uh, not for right now, anyways. So with F, oh, that's the wrong one. F C E L. Um, so there's a buy and a sell right there, and uh, you know I saw that coming down, a couple of hammers there, and I uh, decided to. This was my confirmation. Once I saw that confirmation and it was heading up towards the VWAP, I was like, okay, let's buy. Let's see what happens. It went up, went over VWAP. And uh, it started to come back down. That was, I'm actually really proud of this trade here because I nailed it. Got out right at the high, just about, pretty much at the high, and it came back down. I'm pretty happy about that. Need to have a little, a few more of those before I do anything else, though. So, the clove and meds were the two that killed me today. Um, if I. Even if I just didn't trade those ones, I would have been up today. Uh, but uh, I could have also been up quite a bit. But that's a gambler's um, train of thought, so I don't want to think of that. Think of it that way. What else do I have here that I want to mention? Um, one thing I noticed too with Clove is Bearbull's trader. Bearbull Traders was um, is the community I'm a part of. Uh, they um, it's headed up by Andrew, who wrote a book and that's how I discovered it um, 
bearabletraders.com is where you want to go for that. Really good community there. And you can actually watch Andrew's screen. You can watch him um, uh, making trades live, which is valuable to me. Um, especially because one of the rules that he sets and that, uh, that everyone should set is um, not to uh, be too tempted with certain things. But even after years of doing it, one thing I noticed from Andrew was that he was very tempted to continue uh, on Clove. Uh, it did work out for him in the end, but he eventually he had to, it, it took him about, I don't know, an hour for him to just finally say, nope, okay, I'm done with Clove. Uh, which is kind of uh, enlightening to know, encouraging to know that uh, even after years of doing this, uh, you're still going to come into those uh, situations. Um, mentioned that. Uh, again, I'm not going to worry too much about the commissions. I might as well keep it in the uh, in the settings here. Where was I? Yeah, I might as well keep it in the settings here just to give myself an idea. Uh, but, uh, like I, again, I did 119 trades today. Um, when you're When you're actually live you don't want to be making that money that many trades because uh that's a big commission bill and uh ideally i like to have this list down to more like four or five um also mentioned long for now um uh, end of day uh one thing that i was noticing too is uh, and it was mentioned too in the chat is that uh, things do tend to uh, turn into more of, a, of an algorithmic uh, look to it. Let's see if I can find one right off the bat here. Um, volume's still good there. And this TQQ. That one looks pretty good. Or not good. Um, this one is more of an algorithmic uh, trade, as far as I can tell. Again, I'm still very new, and I don't exactly know all this stuff for sure. But um, it's just, you know, it's still it's staying consolidated. It's not, it's coming up slowly, but not as quickly as I would like to see it. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. I got all oh, twenty minutes. I guess it is coming up. Uh, bad example. Just basically, when there's not a ton of volume here, it just seems. To be more like a, an algorithm, uh, computers are doing all the trading, uh, big banks and things like that. And uh, it was mentioned uh, in Bear Bull Traders, and uh, kind of wanted to make a note of that to myself mentally as well. And that's an, that's it. That's uh, 17 minutes. I guess that's a little longer than I wanted to go, but uh, that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed, anyways. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to mention. I also figured out a few more uh, different um, settings and things here too that I can look at. Uh, Pre-market high, pre-market low, open, and yesterday's close, as well as a uh, how to kind of tell the difference there uh, on the chart itself. This definitely is another, a few more indicators I need to learn about, um, but uh, we're getting there. So, uh, keep following. Uh, let me know if you guys have any comments or, or concerns or anything that you uh, want to add or tell me I'm doing wrong, please. <laughs> you, could, you could save my life uh, by doing that. Um, you know, if I, if I go into this without uh, any kind of advice from strangers, then uh, I might find myself getting into a lot of trouble if I do this live. Um, so yeah, my total loss today, nine, well, I guess total loss with commissions was 2500 bucks. I'm giving that a thumbs up because I did a lot of learning, um, a lot of learning today, and then that still is like four thousand dollars less, uh, or I guess four thousand dollars more than I made yesterday. Does that make sense? Yesterday it was more like sixty-five hundred dollars that I was lost. Okay, have a good day. Bye.